Greetings, this is Jerry Revere with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will show moving and changing VLAN and IP addressing configurations on system platform S8300D media servers in H248 branch gateways. This will be describing a more and more common event as the economy and telephony environments are changing the way business is done. Customers are requesting service changes where their H248 branch gateways and the included S8300D are being moved to different locations and reestablished on different network segments. This is occurring for many reasons. Some are flattening of the telephone infrastructure, business location consolidation, and they are reusing the capital investments previously made. What this means is that the system platform enabled S8300D will have new VLAN and IP addressing requirements. The gateway containing the S8300 media server within it will need to be modified as well. This is covered in a separate Avaya Mentor video called Changing an Existing H248 Media Gateway Interface. This video will focus on the reconfiguration of the system platform and the VLAN associated with it. The S8300D being changed is installed in a G450 MIDI gateway in this demonstration. Please note that all of this provisioning work will need to be done directly connected to the services port on the front of the S8300D since changing the IP addressing and VLAN structure makes it impossible to have it addressable on the IP network. This procedure requires a laptop to be configured using the documented IP interface parameters for connecting to the services port. As shown, I have logged into the system platform web console and went to the server management network configuration dialog. All changes will be made in this dialog. What is not shown is an installed template, and we will be focusing just on the configuration of the system platform and its networking. I am using the 6.2 version of system platform. There are four IP addresses that need to be modified on this screen. Working from the top down is the default gateway for this network segment, the DOM0 IP address, CDOM, and finally the services virtual machine. If you are performing this operation on a 6.0 version of system platform, there would not be a services virtual machine to provision. I have pressed the save button and received the pop-up shown and press the OK button to start the reconfiguration process. The screen shown here appears after pressing the OK button. Reconfiguring the interface is a fairly quick process so the five minutes mentioned is a bit of an exaggeration. However, due to the degree of changes made in the addressing, I suggest you click the link after three to five minutes as I have not seen it redirect to the web console in recent experience. You'll need to re-log into the web console and return to the server management network configuration dialog to verify your work. In our example, the four IP addresses we recently administered are as we expect them. We now need to change the VLAN defined on the S8300D. This is done in the DOM0 Linux shell. We are now logged into the DOM0 shell using the admin login. We will first look at the currently configured interfaces in the network scripts directory. I have indicated the interface that is currently configured on VLAN 1. The dot one at the end of that file name is telling us it is associated with VLAN number one. The command we will be using is change underscore VLAN. I have entered the command with the minus H help option to display the options that are available. I generally use the minus Y option to restart the network interfaces as soon as I enter the command. As a side note, the minus N makes the changes but will not restart the interface you'll have to do that manually at a later time to make the changes active. I have entered the change underscore VLAN command followed by minus Y 10. The first line in the output is indicating the changing of VLAN 1 to VLAN 10 which is the desired change. The interfaces are being shut down and modified and then restarted.
The final thing I am doing now is to ping a host on another network to verify my work. As shown, this is successful and our work is done here. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.